Hey guys, this is Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today, um, some more Cinema 4D stuff. This time, we're going to be looking at how to make uh, 3D text into um, a picture so it looks like it's actually sitting on the floor there. Um, I was really excited when I learned how to do this, so um, it's really simple because you don't have to motion track anything. So um, let's get started here. So uh, I'm going to make a new document. And uh, the things we need, uh, we need a background and a picture of some location that you want to put your text on. And another thing, if you hear that rumbling noise, that's because it's uh, storming over here and I'm making a tutorial during a storm. So, yeah. But uh, anyways, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our little like light thing. We're going to hold it down, go to background, and add a background. And the material for this background is... Go ahead and turn off specular. I'm going to load an image, and it's going to be of a road because it looks pretty awesome on a road. So I load my image, and I'm just going to drag the image onto the background. So now this is the background, and our like grid is um, not part of it. So I'm just going to move this kind of center like so. And the next thing we need to do is we need to create a text object by going to MoGraph text object and um, go ahead and use any text you want I'm gonna kind of make it look like it's sitting on the road here it's probably the best part of it you can get so many different effects on how you place your uh, text so it's up to you I'm gonna choose a font here and type my name like that maybe make the depth to like 30. Let's go with that. It looks good. Let me render this out really quickly. Um, it looks okay. Let me just move this over. Move it down just a tad. Okay, so there we go. That should do nicely. Um, so the next thing we need to do is we're going to go ahead and set up our scene. Um, you could use standard lights, but uh, I've, I've always been using like global illumination and ambient occlusion. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one. If we go to our render settings, um, go to effects and add some ambient occlusion. Um, most of the stuff should stay the same. You might want to change the contrast uh, depending on what kind of image you're using. So uh, just be aware of that. So uh, we applied our ambient occlusion. Now uh, we need to make a plane. So let's, it's planes not under that. Let's go to little cube here, hold it down and make a plane. And basically we need to resize this plane and move it so it's just underneath our text. This is what we're going to be using to get our shadow maps correctly. So if we have that, let me render that out really quickly. Um, as you can already see, the uh, shadow is being reflected onto the ground. But the plane is nasty gray and it's not matching the background. Uh, so to fix that, if we go to our plane, right click, go to MoGraph Tags, and actually not MoGraph Tags, Cinema 4D Tags, and go to Compositing, <clears throat> and check Compositing Background, um, and um, all we need to do now is drag the uh, background material onto the plane as well. So if we hit Control, click it, and just drag it to our plane, it will apply it to the plane, and if we render it out, we get a really nice... Um, clean looking uh, effect here. So um, this isn't perfect. It looks okay. Uh, it could do some more work, but uh, you, I think you get the point. So the only thing we're going to do now is maybe add a material to the text. Um, I'm going to go with some reflective. Uh, turn on the reflection a little bit. See how that looks. So drag it onto the text object. Render that out. And um, looks pretty cool. Um, so it's a really fun thing to do um, to like mess with people, and it's really really nice look to it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. This has been Eat Sleep. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something. That's Thank you.